Inspector, are you confident you've... I've been waiting for... Tell me, Inspector. There's nothing to prove. I don't understand. I expect you to deliver the name of Helen's killer. I expect... We're done. Your services are no longer necessary. I'm diff... You're convinced I murdered Halcyon Helen. Are you... Wait, don't move a muscle. Someone's just tripped my alarm. And my security defenses. And killed my patrols. The distillery is under attack. Someone's after me, Inspector. I need you over here right now. I appreciate your skepticism, Inspector, but this is not a trap. There's a security breach at my distillery. Damn it. Someone's interfering with my transmission. Can you read the... Whoever the real killer is, I got a feeling they're going after Mr. Ludovico. We need to catch up to him. Fast. I guess, if we have to. Getting kind of tired of kicking my heels up in the penthouse all day. Hmm. All right. I got nothing going on. We should definitely go. As for helping him, maybe we take the wait-and-see approach? Think of this as an opportunity to teach Mr. Ludovico the importance of compassion.
I've never cared much for purple berry juice, but I can now say unequivocally that I'm repulsed by it. you'd catch up to me sooner or later, Inspector. I was just hoping you'd find me standing over the Administrator's corpse. What in law's name? Halcyon Helen, how are you still alive? Oh, is that Ludovico I hear? Perfect. I'm so glad he's still in the building. Would you mind letting him know I'm about to blow his whole operation to flinders? Brace yourself, Inspector. You're about to learn the biggest secret in the Aperwave industry. Halcyon Helen was never one person. I shared this role with my twin sister, Belinda. Well, that must have been her sister in the ballroom. I can't imagine what she's going through right now. Two people inhabiting the same life. Existentially challenging, philosophically speaking. My condolences must feel like you literally lost part of yourself. Blenda and I were the best kept secret in the business. Nobody could tell us apart. And certainly not a peevish, petty, miserable little worm like Quentin Ludovico. So when I discovered the truth, when I realized what Ludovico was about to unleash on this colony, Belinda paid the price. So am I. I'm sorry I wasn't there for her. I'm sorry I couldn't protect her. Killing the Administrator won't bring her back. But it'll feel good. I have no regrets. I did exactly what I had to do. I'd do it again. If it means defending Halcyon's future, I'd do it in a heartbeat. Tell the truth, Ludovico. There's nothing safe about Spectrum Brown. You want to infest this entire colony with those disgusting parasites. They're not parasites. These creatures are symbiotic life forms. They belong to the highest order of life form, capable of living in perfect harmony with humanity. The symbiotes evoke a feeling of joy in their host, a bliss so pure, so profound as to render the most exquisite recreational substance obsolete. 
Oh, don't you see, Inspector? I want to bring joy back to Halcyon. I want this colony to smile again. A host only turns violent if they're carrying too many symbiotes, or if they see you as a threat. In its natural state, the relationship between symbiote and host is perfectly harmless. Listen to me. I never wanted to take a life, but I had no choice. I couldn't let anyone destroy this colony's only chance at real happiness. But what about Helen? What about all the innocent people she's killed? No one I crossed off was innocent. Have you met Dr. Blossom? She was practically a reptile. A cold-blooded psychopath who toyed with human lives in the name of scientific advancement. Leora Blossom wasn't a person. She was a weapon in Ludovico's arsenal. You call it murder? I call it disarming my enemy. The mascot was a spy working for Ludovico. He was ordered to keep an eye on Belinda and I, and report back to his master. You're being paranoid. I barely knew the fellow. Don't try to deny it. Anywhere Belinda and I went, that mascot was there, just watching us with those cold, dead eyes. That doesn't surprise me at all. He was on Ludovico's side, just like the others. Dr. Leora Blossom, Maria Keen, that flack wit of a mascot. They were standing between me and Ludovico, so I did what I had to do. I went through them. She was on Ludovico's side. When she realized I was alive, she refused to stay silent. I gave Maria a chance. I told her about Belinda. I asked for her help, but she turned me down. She was honor-bound to report me to Ludovico. Maria had a duty to her company, and I had a duty to Belinda. We both did what we had to. But in the end, I was the faster shot. You know what you need to do. Help me avenge Belinda. Help me put a stop to this. Don't listen to her. Listen to me. Throw in with Helen and you destroy Halcyon's only chance at real happiness. Think of the future, Inspector. A lifetime of bliss and joy for every colonist in Halcyon. We... Wow. I can't believe we're running with Halcyon, Helen. We don't have a lot of time. We need to get out of here. Uh-uh, not so fast. I've sealed the bulkhead doors. You're staying right where you are. I'm sorry to do this to you, Inspector. Truly, I am. If it's any consolation, Helen has brought some remarkably powerful explosives. Your death should be instantaneous. Goodbye, Inspector. Helen, we won't meet again. Damn it. He sealed us in, but I think I know another way out. Follow me and stay close.
An airborne pesticide of some kind. I think you may be onto something. Let's meet back at your penthouse. We're ready our next move. See you soon, Inspector. It's strange. When you walk through that door, I half expected to see Belinda. Belinda and I practically shared a life. Losing her feels like losing a limb. She's conspicuous by her absence. Thank you, but no. I can't grieve properly while Ludovico's still breathing. So let's see if we can't solve that problem first. We shut down Ludovico's distillation plant, but he's not gonna sit idly by. If he can't use Spectrum Brown to infect the colony, he'll resort to some kind of backup plan. I stole this formula from Dr. Blossom, a failed prototype of Spectrum Brown. Look at this. The prototype had the opposite effect, and actually made you immune to the parasites. Precisely. I see we're in your wheelhouse, Inspector. Or do you prefer doctor? We're going to need two ingredients. A sample of essence of Sprat, and one intact pod of parasite eggs. Cedric's warehouse in the Piraeus spaceport almost certainly carries a batch of Sprat essence. As for the pod, I'd check the wilderness reserve if I were you. You're a scientist and an inspector? You really are full of surprises. I borrowed a centrifuge from the research lab. Used the ingredients to synthesize an antiparasitic. I'm glad I could count on your expertise. Once you're finished, head to the pilot house. We'll hijack the control system and disperse the cure into the atmosphere. That should kill off most of the parasites. I like the way you think, Inspector. We could use another ally. I know, Cedric. There's nothing he wants more than a chance to eliminate Ludovico. We could use him on our side. Best of luck, Inspector. I'm counting on you. Run! 
How'd you get in here alive? Inspector, you made it. Well done. I'm afraid you may find the spaceport is, at the moment, less hospitable than usual. My apologies. Regardless, you must have some purpose here. Do tell. Oh, my. You mean Lou was up to no good this whole time? Ah, uh, to be so uncynical. But tell me, why should I help you, Inspector? When you put it like that, I would be heartless to say no. You can expect slug support. I'll arrange for my agents to meet you at the distillation station. I'll do that. I think one of our checkpoint guards is going through a divorce. As thrilled as I am to assist you in taking down Lou, we have barricaded ourselves in here for a reason. I imagine you have a plan for getting out of the spaceport safely? That I'd lose some of my agents to this violence was likely inevitable. Still, that is sad news, Inspector. Kindly save all further bloodshed for Ludovico. With Helen! You don't say. You flatter me, but no, of course not. Knowing implies certainty. I merely suspected. This anti-parasitic, it would restore my people to their original, non-infected selves? Safely? Coincidentally enough, we do. Ella Tinsley, the warehouse foreman, you remember her? There's a package on the desk in her office. You'll find the essence of Sprat you need in there. Oh, I wouldn't like to say. A customer supplier confidentiality and all that. Now then, is there anything else I can do for you while you're here? Essence of Sprat? Not the most obnoxious thing we've found. No, wait. I stand corrected. It is.
reminds me of a rose. Just a bit. Don't you frown at me! I bet you believe how I just wanted to make you smile. That's a hunting reserve over there, in the clouds above a gas giant. Makes about as much sense as any of this, I suppose.
with us. 